I've got some breaking news. Wormhole Bridge that allows people to move funds from Ethereum to Solana has just been exploited for over $250 million. Around 80,000 ETH have been drained from that bridge. My name is Kieran. You're watching the Decentralized Last Stand. I highly recommend that you hit the subscribe button as well as follow me on Twitter for alpha like this. So let's cover what exactly happened with this um, exploit and what the team is doing and how your funds actually might be affected. So first of all, uh, the wormhole bridge got exploited. So if we look at here, the balance of the attackers, 93,750 ETH, which is valued at over $253 million. Pretty crazy. The wormhole team has actually reached out to the hacker and offered a um, white hat bounty. So this is the wormhole deployer. We noticed you were able to exploit the Solana VAA verification, blah, blah, blah. We'd like to offer you a white hat agreement and present to you a bug bounty of $10 million for the exploit details. So if the hacker returns the funds, uh, all is good. He receives $10 million and um, life can go on and so on. But the problem is at the moment with this um, withdrawal of funds, it means that wrapped ETH on the Solana ecosystem is basically worthless. And many people are using the wrapped ETH as collateral. So if that's worthless, it could be that um, people that are using the wrapped ETH as collateral could be liquidated. So that's terrible. Um, let's look at some more information. Um, if you actually want to look at the EtherScan transactions, in, I'll post them in the link in the description below. So here you can see another EtherScan transaction with 80,000 ETH, $230 million. And here is the EtherScan transaction from the Wormhole team. Now, what I also just um, saw is that um, let's first of all, the wormhole hack has a lot of crazy implications. Since the ETH on Solana just went to zero, how quickly will AMMs get drained and how long until lending protocols are under collateralized? So what I was talking about before. Last but not least, um, this is also some news from the wormhole team. The wormhole network was exploited for 120,000 wrapped ETH and ETH will be added over the next hours to ensure wrapped ETH is backed one by one. So actually what they want to do is they want to um, fill up the missing ETH so that the wrapped ETH is backed again by one by one, making sure that the previous consequences that we just talked about, people getting liquidated, doesn't happen. So yeah, terrible, terrible exploit. And I'm wondering what kind of consequences that will have for the Solana ecosystem especially because um, first of all Solana is going to be affected people that have ETH on Solana are going to be affected and people that have funds on AMMs might be indirectly affected so if I've got more information I definitely post it on my uh, Twitter account so I highly recommend that you follow me um, at your DeFi guide with that said I'll catch you in the next video have a good one stay safe and bye bye